suffer from geometric distortion, or maybe a chromatic aberration, or maybe a little bit of vignetting. Well, the lens correction tool in Photoshop CS5 will fix that. If you've bought in imagery from a photo library, you may be familiar with what you're looking at on the screen at the moment, which is this wide angle lens photo of a building. And all the angles have gone a bit wonky, um, but with one click, the lens correction tool should be able to fix that. All we need to do is go up to filter, then down to lens correction, and bingo, it's done it for us. All the angles have been straightened up. This has got some custom tools as well. It allows you to select the camera make, the model, and the lens that's been used, the lens model. You've also got a custom area there where you can use the sliders to fix the problems with the image. You've also got move distortion tool which you can drag up and down to straighten out the edge of the corners as well. Let's just put that back to how it was originally. Let's click OK. Photoshop CS5 has finally caught up with Illustrator with a 3D tool. This one called Adobe Repousse. Now I hope I'm saying that right. Maybe it's Repousse. Uh, it's a what well, Repousse is a metalworking technique, and it uh, involves extruding or, or banging on the back of some metal and making it making a raised design in the front of it, or something like that. We've got the Web Design TV logo up front, and we're going to 3D eyes it. First of all, we need to switch our workspace, and as we showed at the top of this show. We go up to the top bar there, press the little arrow, go down to 3D to bring up the 3D panels. And what we want from here is in the Create New 3D Object panel, we need to select selected layers. So that is the selected layers of the Web Design TV logo. And we also, what defaults to, have selected is 3D Repose Object. And I hit Create. Uh, the shape layer must be rasterized. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Click Yes. And then we have the Repousse dialog box pop up. I've got a number of options here for the 3D extrusions, but you'll notice that the Web Design TV logo has developed a 3D edge, becoming very X Factor, very big and schlocky. Uh, what are the options we've got here? We can have shape presets, we can click and try out a number of these. Oh, that's quite, that's quite interesting. inflate the logo as well with different angles we've got some interesting effects so let's get back to how it normally looks let's try out some of these curved ones it's quite interesting we can also add some textures the logo very, very glam. Add them to the back as well. I'm not sure we're quite ready for a textured red website on TV logo, but as you can see, it's, it does the 3D very nicely. Now, Repousse is a Photoshop CS5 extended feature, as is the Enhanced 3D Realism, which we'll be touching on in a a future episode of Website TV post launch of CS5. Uh, we'll be showing you how to use the Adobe Ray Tracer and also how to make materials to make fantastic web logos. As well as the features that we've covered in this edition of Website TV, there are dozens of workflow enhancements, most of which have been suggested by Photoshop users, which have been put into Photoshop CS5. There's also massive support for HDR Pro and HDR Toning now, and some fantastic painting effects, which you can achieve natural and realistic painting effects with a mixer brush outside of the scope of Website TV, I'm afraid, but be sure to check the Adobe website for examples of these post-launch. So should you bug your boss to get you a new copy of Photoshop CS5? Well, yes, because I think it cuts through uh, all the little niggly problems, little time-wasting problems that you may have to endure, mostly through artworking images. Um, I must say, if you need to prep images, it will cut down time. I've been giving Photoshop CS5 quite a demanding time working with that and 
After Effects CS5 as well um, in using the new tools to do very um, precise cutouts and cleaning up artwork, some very old artwork from the 60s and redrawing it for um, the Avengers DVD um, which I've been working on and it's saving an awful lot of time. If I was using CS4 having to clean up some of this original artwork from the 60s which was uh, film damaged and uh, badly cut out and distorted um, I've, I've made use of the lens correction tools and the selection tools to give a very crisp, very stylized 60s look to artwork which was in a very bad state and has now been restored to its former glory. Thanks for watching Web Design TV. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest episodes. If you'd like to contact us, we're on Twitter. You can reach .net magazine at, at netmag or you can come and say hello to me. I'm at Paul J. Wyatt.